the sooner they fall off, the better I'm going to feel. Because Agreed the longer they and, stick around, oh. the, the more confidence they have, the more confidence that front office has that like, hey, maybe we're only one piece away. Mm-hmm. We don't want those guys being buyers oh, no. at the trade deadline. We do not want the Red Sox buying at the trade deadline. That's the last thing that the Toronto Blue Jays need. It's the walk-off with Scott Belford and Adam Mack. This ball is crushed. Let's talk what? about the Red Sox for a minute. Can we? Because we sure. both, I think everybody had them written off as not going to be in the playoff picture. It was a three horse race in the AL East. It was mm-hmm. the New York Yankees were clear front runners, which they are what they are. And then we thought, well, it was going to be the Blue Jays and the Rays battling it out for a wild card spot. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the Yankees are the worst record in the American League, which is a joy to see but we know that's not gonna last right one way or another they are gonna figure it out that is a team with too much talent and too much money to not figure it out they will still be probably the top team in the al east by the end of the year when it's all said and done i agree with that the rays are the rays they're exactly what we thought they were going to be their pitching staff somehow is awesome has found a way they're scrappy defensively super sound that's the thing we we play the rays this this starting today we start start our first series of the year against them today and we could get to the rays in a second here but yeah the red Sox are in first place um we just split with them they swept the orioles they got swept by the orioles i don't know if this team is real or not Mm -hmm. they got they're hot right now they've beaten up on some bad teams they've been beaten up by the orioles Mm -hmm. do we think they're gonna be a headache for the blue jays by august september is this a team that we're gonna be fighting with for a, a playoff spot buddy i want to just say no i want to just say we don't need to worry about the red Sox. But I'm starting to feel like maybe we do. Their starting pitching, which was what everyone thought would would sink this team, has been far better than expected. And if Nate Evaldi and Eduardo Rodriguez continue to pitch as well as they have and be those front end of the rotation starters that with Chris Sale injured Mm -hmm. that the Red Sox are missing... It's hard to say. I mean, Garrett Richards is Tanner Rourke. Like, he's the guy we beat on Wednesday, the starting pitcher for the Red Sox. He's probably not going to be in that rotation much longer because he has looked awful. But other than him, that rotation's looked great. They have. They've looked great. The the one thing that I will say that makes me think maybe this Red Sox isn't for real is that they're only two games above 500, and their bats have been white hot. Yes. That won't last. Whether they're still a good offense or not, I mean, that remains to be seen. But mm-hmm. basically, their entire lineup is hitting above 300 right now. That's very That's true. That's not sustainable for 160 games. Like, period. No, 100. So, 100%. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I the sooner they fall off, the better I'm going to feel. Because Agreed the longer they and... stick around, oh. the, the more confidence they have, the more confidence that front office has that like, hey, maybe we're only one piece away. Mm-hmm. We don't want those guys being buyers oh, no. at the trade deadline. We do not want the Red Sox buying at the trade deadline. That's the last thing that the Toronto Blue Jays need. I mean, And J.D. Martinez has looked like J.D. Martinez from 2018. Again, we're 18 games into the season. So small sample size. Right. However... J.D. Martinez is a guy who has done it before. He's got the experience. He's got a big World Series ring on his finger. He believes in this Red Sox team. And, you know, having a guy like that on your team can do a lot for some of these, you know, kids coming up, guys like Rafael Devers, who looks for real. You know, Verdugo looks for real. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm I'm really hoping that, yeah, they cool off and, 
by June, we're laughing about this conversation. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Let's mark it on the calendar and let's revisit this clip because I, I hope we're laughing.